This is the Mora High Q. It's a thin piece of carbon steel with a Scandinavian grind. With a Puko style blade and a plastic and rubber handle, the High Q is one of the best examples of a modern bushcraft knife, and it only cost me $9. It is so ideal for bushcraft that it has become my personal standard by which I compare all other bushcraft knives. Just look how easily and comfortably it feathers this stick. You know, so many people have defined bushcraft by now that it's almost stupid to waste time defining it here. But just in case this is the very first bushcraft knife related video you've ever watched, bushcraft really just means crafting in the bush, or making things outside, or creating using nature. At least that's how I define it. That means when we say bushcraft knife, what we're really meaning is a knife that helps us accomplish those sorts of tasks. Now, I understand bushcraft in the jungle is going to look different than bushcraft in the desert, and bushcraft in the desert is going to look different than bushcraft in the forests. But that's not really what we're talking about in this video. We're just going to focus on the stereotypical bushcraft that's based out of the northern European cultures. Over three years ago, we released a video called My Three Favorite Bushcraft Knives. Now, at the time, I had no idea it would become my most watched video. It's got over 30,000 views last time I checked, which is a ton for my channel. So much has happened since 2016. We had the adpocalypse, which left my channel completely demonetized. I went through survival and bushcraft training with Sigma 3 survival and Colorado Mountain Man survival. I got married. And let's not forget Avengers Endgame. That was a game changer. With all that training and learning and growing, I thought it was about time to revisit the topic. So here it is, my three favorite bushcraft knives, 2019 edition. I've got four blades and I'm gonna narrow it down to just three, using the Mora High Q as my standard. This is one of my top three from last video, and honestly, it's still my most used knife, but I wanted this video to be a little bit different, so we're only gonna choose from my high-end knives. I've got some sticks, and we're gonna do some feathering with these fancy schmancy knives. Knife number one, LT Wright GNS. You should have seen this one in many videos already if you've been a subscriber to my channel for a while. This is one of my relic knives. It was in my Scandi versus Sabre video. And uh, I think I've had it since 2016, honestly. What I love about this knife is its basic shape. It's a Woodlore style. It's just a classic and has a really comfortable handle. So that's definitely one of the top knives. Next knife is the Black Feather Bush Tool. Now, this was in my Relic Knife video recently, but it might not be a Relic anymore. Word on the street is Joe Honeycutt has started making knives again, so maybe keep an eye out on what he's up to. The thing that I really like about this one is that swoop. That blade has a continuous curve and the handle is real simple and very comfortable. So there you go, black feather bush tool. Fantastic blade, and if you can get your hands on one, definitely go for it. Knife number three is the LT Wright Mitch Mitchell Design Native Survival Knife, or the NSK. Uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I've had this since, I think, last summer. Fantastic blade. I think it's honestly become one of my top knives. Love the handle, love the design. It's nice and thin. Big fan of this blade. Uh, I like it so much that I actually bought a second one. This one was used by someone else. This one is my original. Um, I sold the green one and bought this one. So let's try this one out.
So there you have it, NSK, fantastic blade, fantastic design, fantastic company, fantastic designer. And finally, the knife I've been carrying on my hip. This is an AA Forge Puko. It's probably the most beautiful knife I've ever held. It's got stabilized Master Birch handles with green and orange liners. It's an AEBL 332nd Scandinavian grind. I mean, this is just, this is my holy grail knife that I never thought I'd get a chance to use. And it fits so comfortably in the hand. This is by far the most comfortable handle I've ever felt. So let's actually use this thing. Getting caught up on a knot. Now the thing I want to mention is this is my newest knife. Uh, it hasn't been used very much by me, so it may not make it into the top three just because of that. I like to have a, some more time with the knife before I go ahead giving it my favorite status but I just wanted to show it off for you. There you have it, my three favorite bushcraft knives. We have in order the LT Wright Hidden Woodsman GNS, Black Feather Knives Bush Tool, and the Native Survival Knife. Honorable mention is the AA Forge, which while it feathers fantastic, I don't know it well enough to give it a ranking. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate all the support. In the comments below, I'd love to hear what your favorite bushcraft knives are. And if you're interested in purchasing these knives, I will leave links in the description box below. Some of them may not lead you to directly to this particular knife because like I said, some of them are not available anymore. But I'll get you to the closest I can. That's all I have for you today. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.